Hey ladies and boys and girls, today I have got something special for you. So we are diving into how to recreate Iman Garcia's latest video intro in Premiere Pro. So in this video you will learn this cool animation with the countdown and colorful semicircle animation and also YouTube screen animation. So before we jump in, consider subscribing if you find this video useful and smash the like button and share to your friends. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. So first thing first, let's set up our sequence. You will want to create a new one by heading into new item, sequence and go to settings and set the resolution to horizontal 920 and vertical 1080. Once you got that done, press OK. Now it's time to add some videos. Head to new item, color mat. Choose a black color. Go to effects, another video effects, find generate and then ramp. Slap that onto the color mat. Switch ramp shape to red ramp. Adjust the start of ramp to make it centered. And change the colors to a dark ash tone. I'm going to drop in a video clip. Adjust the scale and position. Set a keyframe for position, place it at top. Go few frames forward and drag it down. Set a keyframe for scale. Starting at 40, then bump it up to 60 after a few frames. For smooth animation, go to Temporal Depolation and select Auto Base here for buttery smooth animations. Now let's add some spice with effects. Add a VR Glow effect. Tweak the Luma threshold to 0 0.80, set Glow Radius to 200 and max out the glow brightness and saturation to 1.0. Add a Gaussian blur to soften things up. Set the blurriness to around 5. Now I'm going to add some screenshot. Add opacity, grab the rectangle mask tool, create a mask like this. Adjust the position until it looks perfect and bump up the scale. Now let's take it up a notch by playing around with color. Select the color matte layer, go to RAM and use the color picker to match it out our chosen black shade. Add the mosaic effect to the screenshot image. Setting horizontal box to 80 and vertical box to 30 for a pixelated white. Set keyframe for position for the screenshot image, place it down, go a few frames over, position up like this. Make sure to select auto base here to keep things smooth. Now let's nest these layers except the color mat to keep things organized. If you are not nesting or even editing. Yeah so now I will set a keyframe position over here. Now I will jump a few frames forward and nest the position slightly upward. Just a little movement to keep things interesting. Next, I will set a keyframe for scale. We are making it grow just a bit. Nothing too crazy. I am taking from 90% to 100% smoothness. Select all your keyframes. Auto base here. Alright. I am going to cut the layer here because it's time for another screenshot image. Add your screenshot. Go to opacity. And grab the rectangle mask tool, draw a mask like this. Go back to the color mat. Under ramp, use the start color color picker to match it perfectly. Add a mosaic effect to the screenshot image. Set horizontal blocks to 80 and vertical blocks to 20. And now I am adding the second screenshot. Under opacity, use the rectangle mask tool to isolate what you want. Adjust the position and scale. And let's create another mask around the profile pic. The like, dislike buttons and the name. So let me create a copy of this layer by holding Alt key. Drag the layer to duplicate it. Delete the mask and create a new mask around the profile pic.
I need a little help with the alignment, go to view and turn on rulers and guides. Now let's get fancy. Put a position to the left. Set keyframe for position for this profile pic. Go few frames forward. Slightly change the position to the right. Set up both keyframes. Auto base here. Create another copy of this command layer. Delete the mask and create a new mask around the name. Let me add the bottom two layers. Set keyframe position and place it on top. Go a few frames over and place it down. Set the color mat and change the start color to this black color right here. Let me create another copy of this common layer. Create a mask around this thumbs up and thumbs down image. Set keyframe position and place it down. Go a few press over and place it up like this. Now after all that done, delete the command layer. Time to add some test. Use the type tool. Under test layer, select this rectangle mask tool. Start the test on the left by setting keyframe for mask path. Then slide to the right using keyframes. Now I'm going to add a hand image in here. Place it on top. Select all the bottom layers except the color mat and hand image. Nest it. Turn off the hand image layer, set the necessary sequence, set keyframe for scale. Increase scale size to 120, adjust position, set keyframe for position, go a few ways forward and change the scale size to 100. And adjust the position to the left. Now for the screenshot image, set keyframe for scale, go a few ways forward and increase the scale size. Also, I will adjust the position. Let me nest the command and sequence and the screenshot image. I will set a keyframe for position and scale. Go a few frames forward and adjust the position and scale like this. Select both keyframes and auto base here. Turn on this hand image. Set keyframe for position, go a few frames over as the push like this. Set both keyframes, auto base here. Now I'm going to animate this thumbs down image. Let me add a thumbs down image in here. Go to effects and add tint. Change both start color and color to white. Go to effects and add horizontal flip. Scale to 8. Place this layer over here. Select this hand layer and set keyframe for scale over here. Go a few press over and decrease the scale size to all. Again go free press over and increase the scale size to 40. Select this in a sequence, cut the lever in here. Add opacity, select a rectangle mask tool. 
create a mask and on the thumbs down image check inverted now let me set a keyframe for thumbs down image go a few minutes over and push it to the left Double click on the next sequence, set keyframe for position. Go a few frames over and position up. Also, I will set a position keyframe for comment. Go a few frames over and position to the left. I will set a keyframe for opacity for the inner sequence. Hand image and thumbs down image. Go a few press over and opacity zero. After all that done, delete the armor portions. Now let me add a green screen video in here. Go to effects and grab ultra key. Add this into the green screen video. Click on the color picker and select the green color. And the position and scale to get everything looking just right. Next, I'm setting some keyframes for opacity. Start by dropping it to 0% Go a few press over and bring the opacity back up So we are creating a slick reveal effect Now let me add some extra videos Adjust the position, scale and rotation Now see all the video layers Double click on the next sequence and get fancy with more keyframes. Push some videos up and this down. The goal is to make the move up and gradually coming down. Set this video in a sequence and green screen video nest it. Set keyframe for scale and increase scale size to 105. Go a few frames over and increase scale size to 100. I will set a keyframe over here. Go a few frames over and increase the scale size. Also, I will set a keyframe for position. Go a few frames over and adjust position. So, draw the keyframes and continue the base here. Grab the ellipse tool and draw a circle. But hold on and check the fill and check stroke. Boost the stroke width to 20. Use the rectangle mask tool to chop it up and make a semicircle. Next, let's add some colors. Go to effects and add four color gradient. Get creative with the colors. Change color 4 to red, color 3 to green, color 2 to red, and color 1 to yellow. For this 4 color gradient, select this rectangle mask tool, create a shape like this. For this second scene and sequence, I will set a keyframe for opacity, go free frames over and decrease the opacity value. Set this mask layer, place this mask over here. Set keyframe for mask path. Go free frames over as the mask path like this. Now we are animating the number countdown. Using the type tool, I'm going to add a big bold number 1. 
Go to face and add time code. We don't want it to look too techy, so set the opacity to zero. Adjust the positional size and uncheck the fill symbol. I change the format to frames. Next, this layer. Double close the next layer. Move the playhead until you see the number 90. Cut it over here. Delete the excess and head back to the main sequence. Cut the next layer again and add a frame hold. We are freezing time for a bit. Adjust the position and scale. Change map black to and map white to red. Go to effects and add drop shadow. Set so the opacity to 4% and crank up the softness to 45. Let me add a percentage in here. Copy this tint and drop shadow from this number layer and paste to this percentage test layer. Use the type tool. I'm going to add a test, place it over here, add a smiley image in here. Add a test layer, select this rectangle mouse tool, place it to the left. Go a few press over and place it to the right. Now I'm going to add a hand image. Go to effects and add tint. Change map black to and map white to white. Decrease scale size as a keyframe for position. Go a few press over, adjust the position like this. Delete the armor portions. Go to new item. Adjustment layer. Place it on top. Add the post rise time effect and set the frame rate to tour. So now you have got the cool stop motion effect. Yeah, and that's the result of boys and girls. Check out these two videos to learn more about how to edit like Iman Garcia in Premiere Pro. And if you find this video useful, give a like, subscribe to my channel if you like these kind of tutorial videos, and I will see you on my next video.